it's Grace and I have finished work for the day. I have had a shower, washed my hair, it's been a while. And now I'm going to open some of the packages that started coming. I'd like to call this an eBay haul, but it's three things. Maybe I'll do a, a like, I think there's another like eight things. Maybe I'll save those ones up. But this one I kind of had to open. And I was glad I was home because otherwise I would have had to go into the post office to pick it up. But I believe that the thing that I ordered on eBay, like I didn't want Luna's urn box, whatever we're going to call this, uh, to be the only thing that I ordered. So I added a bunch of things to the cart that I'd had like in my watch list for ages so that I felt a bit better when the packages started to come in. And I'm kind of grateful for that because if it was just the urn that came on its own today, like I again I'm glad it came before I went to work but like I had to cry about that for a minute and get my stuff together and then get to work so um it kind of made me feel better there was a couple of other things in the letterbox so that it wasn't the only thing I had to open today oh I don't know if you can hear that my stomach just grumbled I feel really sick and it's angry because I'm just not that hungry but I feel sick so we're gonna eat um an elephant look I can't say this stuff properly I'm gonna put it up there I've always called them elephants, like ever since I was a kid. And they kind of taste like Nutella in the shape of an elephant with chocolate on the outside. You can see the stuff in the middle. It's pretty good. I stood in the cupboard for ages going, oh my god, I don't want to eat what looks good. An elephant stood out. So it probably um, isn't the healthiest thing. My body probably wants more than an elephant. I got a muesli bar and some turtle chips as well. Um, to see if I wanted to eat those, but we'll get through the elephant first. Now I've just got all chocolate in my teeth. I should fix that before I keep talking because it's probably looking really gross. Yeah, I better fix that. I dropped a bit on the floor. Can't waste it. So today, I have no wisdom. I haven't been reading anything on grief because I don't know where I'm stuck at. And when I'm ready to move on, I might read some more stuff, but at the moment, I'm just still stuck in sad and try to distract myself. So I painted uh, the shelving, it's got a base coat, and I think I finished this. I just kept on adding like coats and layers, and I don't know like if you can see the texture, but I just kept on like adding layers, because it looked like fun. Um, and sometimes it dried really flat, and then some of these other ones, because I've got metallic -y stuff, kind of puff up. And I really liked that. So I thought that I would just keep adding layers until I'm happy. So I think I'm pretty happy, so I can start to outline that tonight. And I got all the gel polishes and stuff out in front of me to do this cupcake. I thought I would make it darkness, because Luna has something pretty, and I can have a cupcake of darkness, because that is, you know, more my thing. Um, and again, like, just keep thinking about birthday stuff, because they're cakes, and I didn't mean that. I got the other ones, like little wooden thingies like that to be me and Luna, but I didn't get the cakes. I was just like, oh, cakes, they're so cute. But yeah, the more I stare at them, kind of the sadder it makes me feel. But that's okay at the moment. It's oddly comforting. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so I get to decorate my cupcake and I'm gonna use gel polish for mine because I've always liked painting things with nail polish. I don't know why. It's a fun medium for me, apparently. So this one is gonna get uh, a bit of like that's a uh, buildy gel stuff. What does it actually say? Quick build nail gel. Poly extension gel. That stuff. So I think I might build up like some of the sprinkles and stuff. Like that might be fun. And like some of the dots. Uh, I'll see what happens with that. And then I've got heaps of colours out. Um, maybe I should just take a picture. Because I can't be bothered moving that right now. So hang on. We'll take a picture of that. So that's what it looks like all up in there at the moment and um, like there's lots of colours. I don't know what I'm going to do but I can just sit and look at them and just like decide as I'm going I think. That's what I kind of did with the other one. So we'll see where that takes us and um, <coughs> the shelving will need uh, more layers of primer and black and I got some baking paper out hoping that maybe I can paint on that because this has got like all paper stuff to it now. So I'm actually thinking that I'm going to have to sand that because it's got blobs of paint and cardboard or like brown paper, weirdness, grossness. And I didn't do a very good job. 
so we'll have to start again but like these white bits well I can do the back I was supposed to do the back before bed um, they're not too bad like they didn't get stuck like as much as a little bit up there that maybe I could get where I've got the sandpaper out but all in all it's just not quite as bad so hopefully baking paper I'm going to just like do a little test thing like put a bit of paint down and I don't know stick something to it I don't know what I've got that's like that actually I do got one of those so maybe I'll paint that on the baking paper and uh, see what happens I also had a thought that like I can do the backs of those there's nothing on them I can paint whatever I like that might be fun too so that's where I'm up to on crafts and all I've got to do now is open the mail and I'm kind of procrastinating I don't want to again I'm glad I've got some nice things in there uh, not that Luna's own box something isn't nice but I just didn't want it to be all horrifically sad. Well, I guess it is. But, like, some happy, sparkly, shiny things with it. You know what I mean. And I didn't know which order to open this. Because I'm like, oh, maybe I should save, like, the shiny things for afterwards. But it doesn't really matter. I think I should open her thing last. Because I don't think the other things are going to, you know, make me any happier after that. I don't know if that makes sense. But we're going to start with the smallest. It's an envelope. And as always, I haven't taken my name off anything because I'm never that smart. So I'm just going to try and open it down here so you don't see. Oh, I got a clear phone case. Awesome. Um, I have a wallet case thing like on my phone and that's good for out and about. So I've always got like my license and like money on me but at home it's just heavy annoying and awkward when I want to hold it so I had a case um, that had like this really pretty ring holder thing um, but it's kind of broken and the case I've got it on is a liquidy squishy one so I'm kind of scared of ripping it off so I just thought I'd order like that case was oh no three dollars four dollars um, and hopefully there'll be a new thing for it I'll show you when it comes but that'll make my life easier because that like, I know it doesn't feel heavy, but with my arms and hands and stuff, like, my frame feels heavy really quick. So, hopefully that'll fix one of my problems. Uh, this, can I show you the back? I don't know. It's that big. There you go. It's exciting. I just knocked a paintbrush over. Let's see if I can open this without damaging it. I don't know what this is. I don't think I ordered anything, like, quite this big. Who knows? Oh no, I know, it's a new cover for my tablet. That's pretty cool actually. Um, it's nearly identical colour and stuff to the old one, but because my tablet is so old, um, it doesn't have a lot of cases you can pick. So I thought that one really sucked and I would get another one for it because uh, like that's peeling and stuff. So we got one of these kind, which actually I'm just going to open and open that because I will put it in the new cover in a minute somewhere over there okay uh I thought it had a oh no it does so the one I've got at the moment this bit kind of flips up and you sit it up like and they're really annoying falls over all the time so this kind of flips back and up under there which probably oh no look it might get a bit loose and flappy but that is surely more secure than what I currently do um and also it kind of slides in or oh, somewhere is at the top side I don't know I guess I'll figure it out it slides in somewhere where the heck do you slide in? No, i got to figure this out now. Hello. Oh, okay. No, we're good. There's like a Velcro thing. So that's a bit more secure than what it's in currently too, which is good. All right. I was hoping some of that was actually jewellery. I ordered some jewellery to make myself feel better. But we only got the practical things. So we'll have to wait for another day for the shiny things. All right. So this is maybe what Luna's going to call home. We just keep talking about where to put her. Um, I've talked about some of our decisions. Hopefully this is good and I can paint it to look like her so at least it's unique. Like price isn't a problem but I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on something and I'm just kind of okay with it. We're kind of taking our time. She is in, well you saw what she was in. Um, and I was actually hoping I could find something to just pop the whole thing in because 
It's strange, but I'm going to have a problem if we take her out of the tin. What to do with the tin? Because it's hers, you know? Um, so I don't actually think that she's going to fit in here. <laughs> it was silly. I was actually thinking, like, you know when people make lip glosses and they're in like, those tiny little slidey tins? <laughs> it's like, oh, she's tiny. She'll, she'll fit in one of those. So it won't matter what we buy, it'll be fine, she'll fit in everything. <laughs> um, which was silly, but that's just where my brain went. And I like lip gloss, so like, I found it more entertaining than I probably should have. But now I think that we are going to have to transfer her out into something, unless we go with option C, I think. So option A is the thing that I have to cut out of this, and option B is a jewellery box, and option C... <laughs> in my eyes, maybe not my partner's eyes, uh, is a spirit house. Um, look, there's lots of different names for things depending on which country you're looking at and also which religion. Altars, Buddhist temples and spirit houses. And there was something else that I can't remember right now. Uh, but they are sort of made for this, I guess. Uh, and they're really cute. And Luna deserves a castle. Yes, I've tried to look for a castle, trust me, but uh, it wasn't quite up to my standards. Um, unless I want to, and this is silly, but there's like a plaster cast castle kit that you can buy and paint, and I'm like, that is freaking cool. I think I could do that, but plaster's pretty breakable, and I'm a clumsy ass, so we probably should go with something better. My other option that I thought of was like to buy a dollhouse, but she could just like sit in there and be cute. Like, I don't know. It's it's hard and we might make a decision and change our minds again and that's okay but like my brain just kind of like not wants to put it to rest but it's a problem solving brain and it's like oh we need to do this mind you not for important things that I have to do like you know remembering to go to an appointment or something or trying to get motivated to do like housework or editing but at the moment it just wants the distraction of oh here's a problem We've got to solve it. Let's do some research. Uh, so I guess that's why I've got lots of options. Um, I've always thought my brain was a little different and I know it is. But throughout all of this stuff, I've really just wanted my partner to not have a lot of thoughts to handle when I know that my brain has thought about some of this stuff way too much. Um, he wasn't sure like we knew we had to make the decision that particular day and he didn't know what to do and I didn't really know what to do and I'll talk about this more another day because it still hurts but I did what we had to do um so he could sit with her and I could organize this and I think he was really grateful because he didn't know what to do um and I don't like knowing what to do sometimes but my brain thinks of like catastrophic things and how to solve them and 99% of the time that it tries to problem solve like we don't need this information it's just having some fun but occasionally uh, I'll need whatever catastrophic plan I've got in place and unfortunately I, I kind of had one so it kind of made things I want to say easier as easy as it could be um, and I'm still kind of doing that because it is so hard for us and I'm so used to taking care of him and her and him not just because I love him but because I loved her and I love her I don't like saying loved I love her and because her favorite spot in the universe was on his lap like he would just go oh yep she needs a lap I'm not moving so he'd be like, well, can you please get me a drink or, you know, whatever, whatever either of them needed. Like, and I'm kind of lost without it. So I'm still trying to sort of fix problems and I just, I feel the need to take care of him because we're both so broken and hurting so much that I, I want to protect him from the pain, even though I know that he's going through exactly the same things. I keep on finding myself not wanting to say how I'm feeling or thinking or anything. 
but then I remember that he's in the same spot and it's a safe place and talking about these things hopefully just makes us stronger because I again I think I said this the other day I couldn't handle if this loss affected us more than it has to we're going to have to learn how to be a family without her and I really couldn't stand it if our loss drove us apart so I've been trying to make sure that I say how I'm feeling so that we both don't feel alone or the need to protect each other from this pain because we both hurt let it out talk about it like I um didn't tell him what I did on Saturday because it, I felt it was really weird and I know he won't judge me he's seen me do the weirdest stuff we've been together for nearly 20 years and I don't ever feel like he fully judges me there might be like a brief second of what are you doing and it's usually just sort of entertainment or we talk about it or like he's just like oh it's you everything's fine have fun and that's great but when it comes to shared grief like it's so weird I don't want him to have to think the way that I think or the things that I think that might make him hurt but I think we're both going to come to the same realizations at different times so maybe we should just be open honest painful and not go through exactly the same thing at the same time but like maybe it'll help the other person somehow like we just have to think we're helping each other and not hurting each other by talking about this and I just think it's important I love him a lot and I just I can't let this break us again more than it already is so anyway where was that rant going I have no idea oh yeah this morning like it was just kind of reinforced because like when I'm in pain I'll sleep somewhere else and I used to sleep on the spare bed uh, with Luna like she'd go backwards and forwards between us um because I snore and hate my sleep apnea mask <laughs> and she was spending more time in the spare bed because it was getting colder and that's just her preferred winter bed with an electric blanket on it um so like we were like really I don't know we'd spent the last few months sleeping every night in that room together and I I can't go back in there um it's real well I have been a couple of times like I have to open and close the curtains and I cry every time and just stare at the bed because she, that's where she's supposed to be um so I've been sleeping on the couch when I need to and I'm in pain and stuff and I always try and wake up when my partner does and when she was still here like I'd wake up and do kitty things and he'd still be in bed and then like I'd go annoy him or we'd go annoy him depending on if she just wanted to eat and just lie back down and be cozy because it's cold until like the house warmed up because I'd turn the heater on and stuff and I'm still trying to keep in the habit of waking up early and just going to have cuddle in the morning and just talking and he told me that he had a dream that we managed to like the bad stuff started to happen and we could fix her and she stayed with us and that's really painful but I'm glad he shared because that is beautiful and we both wish that's what really happened so I talked about what I did on Saturday I said I know you wouldn't judge me but I felt weird so this is what I did it was kind of nice and I didn't want to tell him that because I didn't want him to again think that way feel that pain but we also need to share and maybe that's something that in his own time he doesn't have to do it around me either that he might like to do to try and feel normal for half a second <laughs> because it's so hard nothing's normal like we have had our family for like 12 13 years we're trying to figure it out and we built this house together for our family and it's just so empty so we're trying for each other which we did before but there's been such a big chunk of our relationship that we have been a family I don't care what anyone says this was our family these are our people or entities that we spent the most time with and love spending time together so that's our family and it just sucks and it's wrong and it's painful and it sucks 
and I want to get through this together. Like I don't know how to do it, but I'm just trying my hardest to make sure that we're both sort of okay and we're not isolating ourselves too much from each other because we're hurting and oh, I just, just hope that we come out of the other side or not the other side but like one day we can look back and fully appreciate this hard time but being together and making us stronger or I don't know it might sound silly but in all my grief I still just want us to be happy and as much as we can be and kind of future proof some of the shit that might come up because it's not easy we're dealing with not just a loss but like the terms around that loss I mentioned it in another video I don't know if I finished the thought or you had to watch editing grace thoughts that you forgot to finish but she was given to us by people we love and one of those people is not with us anymore and she came to us at a time that we needed her so it brings up lots of old feelings as well as new fresh hurt which is awesome which hurts more and then you try and like be like oh well hopefully they're together and looking after each other and you kind of feel comfort in that but like it's sad because then you remember like old people and that really sucks too so while we're crying we're gonna open up this package because i probably need to uh go and dry my hair and i don't know probably need to cook dinner i've been trying to at least eat dinner every day i call it snaking it's possibly not healthy, but I'm like, right, I don't feel sick right now. Whatever I'm cooking kind of smells good, and I'm just going to eat as much as I can, as fast as I can, so I get food into me, and uh, then I make sure that I drink a whole bunch of liquids, not just water, because I need salt and sugar, dang it, but trying to keep some food in myself and, like, hydrated and salt, because obviously I'm losing a lot of salt hopefully uh, that's helping some I don't know hopefully something's gonna help they packaged this very well which is lovely because it's a bit breakable I just got a message from my partner so I have to move my butt and get redressed so we can go do something but uh, this is a tiny box well I guess it's easy to be picking her I'm going to see the end I should take it out. Uh, I need the courage or the, I don't know, something today. I just feel like a giant cloud of sad. And that kind of makes me feel bad for being around other people. Because I don't really want to share how sad I am. It's really no one's business but my own. I know people say you should share things and like that's fine if you're that kind of person. But like, I just want to wallow in my family grief and that seems so weird because like I'm literally gonna put this on the internet but somehow it's just different yeah I'm not sure how that works either okay it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be but it still doesn't look right like again I like sort of the look of this box and it's got some symbolism and stuff I like not all of it but like most of it's good but look at the painting of the kitty it's not quite right so hopefully once I have finished these other couple of projects and get my painting skills up a bit I can start on this beautiful thing I'm hoping I don't need to touch the rest of the box it all looks pretty good to me uh, there's a little bit that looks a bit gold there that I might touch up with silver but I don't want to start stuffing with anything too much because I don't know if it's going to make it better or worse maybe I'll just work on the kitty and see what she looks like after I'm done so the inside of the box I'm not sure that she's going to be able to be in there with this maybe that's something that if I know someone with a belt sander I can try and grind that down a bit to make it fit if it doesn't but like I'm hoping so I'll figure that out later and if we want to keep it closed we can glue it shut and if we ever would like her out like we could cushion her up in there so we can just smash it and that's fine or I guess we could like dissolve the glue or something we'll figure it out but that's pretty cool and that's actually supposed to be a tarot card box so yeah I just think that's far prettier and more appropriate and 
far more ass than most of the regular urns like they're beautiful but I just want something a little bit different and special so this and hopefully this will look like Luna one day and that will be her home well that's the thoughts for now and I better go get dressed thanks for watching see you next time bye <laughs>